hello folks, good day to you. Welcome to Bulgaria, welcome to Burgas. Here for a few days, having completed the Transcontinental Race 8th edition 2022. It's now Thursday as we're recording this, I have two whole days to just enjoy Burgas, recover a little bit. Although it hasn't been completely unstressful, we had to arrange getting the tracker back, sorting out flights, getting a bike box. It's all been quite time consuming, a little bit stressful. Turns out I could have got a flight straight from Burgas to the UK. I didn't realise that. So uh, <laughs> as it turns out, the plan is to go home to Manchester tomorrow, Friday, and at some point in the future, perhaps next weekend, take a ferry to Harwich, cycle across to Brussels, pick the car up, come back on the Sunday. I thought I'd also take the opportunity in this video to uh, speak about what I've got coming up next, my next event, which uh, is a few weeks away. By the time this is edited together, it might be next weekend. But uh, I'll tell you that to give you the date, it's 2nd of September. Put that in your calendar for dot watching. Myself and a handful of other riders will be competing in Pure Peak Grit, which is an event which takes place in the Peak District in the UK. Having a look at the roster today, there's probably about 40 riders. I see Alan Parkinson is on there as well, who recently completed the Transcontinental this year. So you want to check that out, it's purepeakgrit.cc. The event itself is 600 kilometers around the Peak District, 13 and a half thousand meters of climbing, 42 of the most famous climbs in the Peak District, lots of steep stuff, lots of scenic beauty. And my goal is to complete it in less than 48 hours just in time to go back to work on the Monday. As you no doubt can tell, I'm sporting some new kit today, new jersey. I've also got some uh, three quarter length trousers to match as well. Just to explain something from the top. Fortunately, I wasn't wear, allowed to wear any of this during the transcontinental race due to licensing issues. My bad, actually. I should have applied for a license much sooner. Uh, but to be fair, do you know how many jerseys I worn during the last two, three weeks? None. I've, I've pretty much weared base layers the entire time. Apart from that, rain jacket. It's just too warm for jerseys. So I'm going to be wearing this out for the Pure Peak Grit. My sponsor, the Car Group, who I work for, they also got me a pair of three quarter length bib shorts as well. So I'm going to be sporting both these and this cool looking jersey at Pure Peak Grit, 2nd of September, go check it out. Website purepeakgrit.cc. It's been raining. <laughs> Definitely needs rain though. The joy is so dry the last three or four weeks. So warm, so dry. As far as the transcontinental race is concerned, I have to be very grateful for the weather. So kind. It could have been so much, so much less bearable. It seems here in Burgas to try and embrace cycling a little bit. I've not seen so many cycle lanes since I left Belgium three and a bit of weeks ago. Whether it's mostly in the park, I don't know, but they've also got so many statues here. Must have counted about 50 such statues all scattered through this park. And as often the case in here in Eastern Europe, access to water everywhere. It really is a lovely place for Burgas to come visit. I mean, check this out. Anyway, we'll explore the city some more. Jason de Rome. It's warm again. 
I've noticed uh, as we're in right around Vergas that some of the cycle lanes leave a lot to be desired in that no drop curb what's going on there and I'm not entirely sure where the traffic's supposed to give way to me although it just did maybe the fluke there's similar laws now exist in the UK that you must give way to cyclists coming off the side junctions and things in the UK it's a new law though and I guess it's not that observed that much yet Mr Bricolage I wonder what he sells anyway the tour of the city continues as I head out into the suburbs So heading out to Burgas now for some doggy action See if we can get any dog chases in I need to try and make light of them <laughs> Hello! Hey guys! A very common sight across Eastern Europe. Fields of sunflowers in desperate need of water. Or at least that's my take, because they don't look very yet leafy or anything. They're all pointing downwards, a bit drooping. I wonder what that means for the uh, sunflower oil crop fish. Uh, the rest of this year into the winter of next year so i hope you enjoy this video please please do me a favor hit that subscribe button give the video a like share amongst your friends i'm starting to edge closer to two and a half thousand subscribers the channel is huge now there's probably in excess of 400 videos go check it out lots of old act stuff in there lots of bike packing things paris breast paris and now the transcontinental race. Click on my name and enter the rabbit hole, yeah. As far as pure peak grit is concerned, I'm not sure what link to, to put down below the video, but as soon as I find out, I'll share it with you guys, whether it's through a YouTube post or on Instagram. You beautiful views open up my left and right. Been going always for about 5K now possibly 6k but look at these fields here and a view into the distance well I've just come to the uh, top of this big climb and I thought this could be a great view and look <laughs> ah the lovely smell to the countryside Uh, it's like being back in Immigan when I used to live there. <laughs> it even looks like Immigan up the upper head. I'll stop and show you. Go a little bit further down. Once I negotiated this downhill section. There you go. I don't know, I don't know if you can see off in the distance there, the chimneys refineries okay let's get off this hill it was a disappointment look at all those stalks hundreds of stalks a view after all 
So I'm heading back to South Ho now, having a bit of tall burgas. Last evening here in Bulgaria, catch a flight to Manchester tomorrow evening. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Go check out my website purepeakgrit.cc. Don't forget to give this video the thumbs up, share with your friends, hit that uh, bell icon as well so you don't miss out on any future content. I'm going to enjoy this last evening in Bulgaria. The big adventure has come to a close. On to the next one.